Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamea's promo and today is September 6th and Samsung just pushed off its latest software update to the Galaxy S21 series. Now I didn't take a look at a few other devices, but I did know that we just updated the Galaxy Note 20 just the other day, about two or three days ago. And the last update that we did here on the Galaxy S21 was actually very large. We did this one back on August 25th. And back at that point, I did mention that we'll probably see another update within the next one to two weeks and we did so here it is uh, this is the last one that we just got done updating it was very very large over one gig so it was 1126 megabytes this new update sitting here is one of those regular you know security patch updates sometimes you do see newer versions of applications sometimes you don't but in this channel i usually like to take a look to see if there's something that samsung never tells us because on the very top up here it just says the security of your device has been updated or improved so i just wanted to take a look to see which of those applications got improved sometimes the gallery the camera, fingerprint reader, face recognition, Samsung messages, Samsung internet, things like that. So we'll be taking a look at just a few applications. And then also too, once this update is complete, we'll also take a look at the Galaxy Store just because that is another location where some where Samsung puts their, their application updates inside of there rather than putting it in this update here. So let's just go through, let's download this update. Again, it's one of those that's very small. This is the normal update of 274 megabytes. This version ends in AUH9. So now we're gonna go through hit install and it's usually at this point in the video i like to state that if you guys are brand new here at the channel jimmy is promo you appreciate these tips tricks tutorials or the latest updates on your samsung galaxy devices make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos so the software update is done and complete so how about we just head right back up really quick into the settings just to make sure that we are sitting on the september patch so here is that last update that we just got done doing so if you're ever curious on when the last update was or what has happened with that last update you can actually just tap right over here so inside the software information you can see that we are running on september 1st security patch it's still the version of 3.1 so now let's take a look at just a few different applications i usually like to take a look at the camera and a few other applications so first off before this update we were sitting at 11 0 uh, we're still sitting there 11.00319. I don't really think we're going to see any newer versions of applications from this security patch just because we had a large update uh, just less than two weeks ago. Now this next one is going to be the gallery. Now this version was 12.1080, 121080. So this one has not changed also. Now we're going to head inside of the face recognition and fingerprint. So all you got to do is scroll down, go to biometrics and security. You're going to go inside of more biometric settings, biometric security patch. Now for the face, it was 5103, same one here, 5103. And then for fingerprint, it was 20226, 20226. So it's the same uh, version there as well. And then for the very last one, we're not going to take a look at too many just because I figured none of these is going to change. We'll take a look at the Galaxy Home. Uh, originally was 210733. 1210733. So this one's the same there. Now it's also very smart to take a look over inside of the Galaxy Store. And this is actually how I kind of knew that there was a software update this morning was because I saw a couple notifications for some updates for the Galaxy Store. Sometimes when I see a few updates for the Galaxy Store, it kind of tells me that there could be a security patch. So here we go. We have Samsung text to speech. Samsung global goals. So maybe there was small little updates on the security side of maybe a couple of these. And that's also why we see the update sitting here. Uh, so we're just going to go through, hit on install. Now, if you want to go through, you can tap on any of these uh, and then you can take a look at when these were updated here. You can see September 6th and the other one would also be September 6th as well, because these two showed up this morning that wasn't there before. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Just taking a look to see if there is any additional things more than what Samsung states. You also have updates in the Galaxy Store and in the security patch for your phone itself. Now, I hope you guys appreciate this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.